Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my 20 favorite dresses for summer. Everything from casual summer dresses to vacation dresses and cover-ups to dressier dresses for date night to sexier styles to cocktail dresses and some really beautiful wedding guest dresses for summer. So some of the summer dresses are from last year, some are brand new from this year and some are still on my wish list waiting for me to pull the trigger off me to earn some more money. But I just got this Katie May pink floral dress today. So that's the dress I'm going to start with. So I got this pink floral dress for a Kentucky Derby party. It would work just as well for a garden party, for a horse races, as a wedding guest dress. Lots of different uses for it. A couple of reasons I got it. I really was looking for something floral. I love the slit in the leg. I thought it was a little sexy. I love the feminine ruffles and the detailing, lace detailing on the straps. The straps are also adjustable, but it's invisible adjustable. You can't see the bra straps under there. I love the exposed zipper on there and it does have the full lining to here so you do have coverage. Shoe wise I would personally style it with nude strappy sandals just because I'm petite so it kind of makes me look taller. You could also style it with something like a matching heel if I was going to the horse races I might go for something like a square heel to stop me sinking into the grass like I would with stiletto heels. Okay, on to the next dress. So I'm not going to say what I think are essential summer dresses or capsule wardrobe essentials for summer, just because I think everyone's styles are slightly different. Some people might say it's a white shirt dress or some other people might say it's a denim dress. A lot comes down, down to your personal aesthetic and also what you do every day. So for me, I thought this was a really good everyday casual dress that I could wear for working around the house because it's soft, it's comfortable, it's stretchy, but also easy to dress up with a pair of heels if I wanted to run out in the evening. Couple of things so the sleeves are very long initial tall and very wide so I tend to pull them up but what I really liked about this a polo neck dresses are really on trend for this year but I liked the detailing on the waist where it's ruched in there so it kind of creates more of a nipped waist shape it's really flattering and it's not sheer so I love a classic black and white stripe for summer actually for all seasons I really liked this dress it's under $200 I thought it'd be a really cute dress for throwing on in the day for running around the south of France with some flat sandals while looking a bit smarter than denim shorts and a t-shirt the other thing I really liked about it besides the halter neck style which I think is really flattering on the shoulders it's under $200 and it's really on trend with these really cute little flower details on the front. So I'm not one for a capsule wardrobe, as you can tell, I do like my clothes. But if I had to choose one dress as a summer essential dress, it would probably be a satin slip dress and probably a maxi dress. The reason being they're so comfortable, lightweight, breezy for summer, they're easy to dress up and down. I feel like it's such a classic style and I tend to wear this with flat shoes in the day and then strappy sandals in the evening. So this dress is actually from Express, it's under $100, it comes in five different colours. I tend to wear silicone nipple cover-ups with it just so I don't have to wear a bra, but the back is really nice because it does have adjustable straps so you can get a perfect fit on it. If you don't mind spending a, a bit more on your summer dress, Zimmerman does a beautiful silk wrap dress that is just such a classic style you can wear year after year. It's one of those dresses you could wear from day to night and it's just going to feel so beautiful on, whether it's for a vacation dress, whether it's for dinner and lunches here, whether it's a wedding dress guest for the summer, there are so many uses for this dress and it comes in so many different colors. So if you watch my YouTube, you've probably seen this blue tweed dress already. I wore it a lot in spring and I'm going to get a lot of use out of this as a summer dress as well. The reason being, I just think it's such a lovely material. I spend a lot of my summers in Europe. It has a very European vibe with the material, with the cut. It's very easy to switch out as well. So there's the option to wear it as a belt, which is just a tie belt. To wear it with no belt, I cut the belt loops off so you can't see it. Switch out the belt. The other option you could do with this is to wear it as a choker. And I've worn it as a choker before and it just kind of like, it's very extra, but it's kind of fun and it's very much on trend right now. If you didn't want to do the black belt or black choker that it comes with, you could swap this out for something like a Chanel white camellia flower that you find on all the packaging. I turned mine into a brooch and I simply pin it onto the dress, swap it out for white shoes, a white bag, and it kind of gives it a lighter, fresher look for summer. I would wear this summer dress for lunches with my girlfriends, maybe a more casual dinner with my husband and business lunches. Okay, it's getting really hot in the closet with all the lights on. I need a little break. Okay, let's get back to it. No, 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 don't eat all the plastic. Okay, the cat's eating all the plastic too. We are going to get back to the dress haul. Okay, so I got this summer dress last summer. 
If you're looking for a sexy summer dress, maybe for a vacation or a pool party, definitely check out this dress. It definitely needs some self tanner, but there's a few details I like. So I really like the cutouts. I like the fact it has adjustable straps. You can get a good fit. It has the ruching on the waist, which is more flattering than just skin type material. And it has these really cool gold kind of horseshoe detailing in the center. Just be careful it doesn't get too hot. So I'll probably tie it in with some gold jewelry and some nude strappy heels. If you're looking for a basic black bodycon dress that's a little bit different, this one is beautifully done. It's by Express. I actually picked it out for a friend recently for an Audrey Hepburn look for a breakfast at Tiffany's Gala. It fits beautifully. It has adjustable straps. It has that sweetheart neckline and it really hugs the body without costing a fortune. And I feel like it's just one of those dresses you could throw on for the day with flats. You could dress it up with heels for dinner, wear it to lunch, brunch, take it on vacation, screw it up in a ball and it's not going to crease. If you're thinking this cream satin dress is way too sexy, give me a second because it's going to completely change. If you are looking for a sexy summer dress, so this is a great place to start. It's strapless, but it's really beautifully boned, so it stays up. It is very, very short, though, so if you're tall and sitting down, it might be a little too short. The reason I'm going to show you this is because I try to share with you things that everyone else isn't doing. I don't want to be that predictable fashion blogger that's sharing everything that everyone else is doing. I'm sharing with things with you that other people haven't done. Let me completely change this for you. So this dress actually comes with this super extra, super dramatic cape. You know, I love my drama. I love anything extra. I love everything extra feminine, extra glam. So I wore this out to a dinner on the strip with my girls and it is absolutely incredible. So now I've completely changed from a really sexy, dress to kind of what almost looks like a formal gown. So I feel like the dress would be really good for a bachelorette party. And then if you added the cape, you could wear it for something like your bridal shower, for your wedding rehearsal dinner. It's just a really, really, really versatile look that doesn't look as versatile to begin with. It moves absolutely beautifully. I just want to do this all day. And when you walk, you literally glide like a princess. When I wore it, I used a Versace safety pin to hold it in place there. So it stayed there the whole time when I was walking, when I was talking, when I was eating. So that's just a little tip if you're worried it's going to fall off your shoulders because obviously it's satin and satin likes to move around. But also this makes it easier to take photographs in. It's more flattering than just having a really tight satin dress. So I highly recommend this if you're looking for a really glam summer dress or something for your wedding rehearsal dinner that no one's seen before. I've worn this cream strapless tweed dress quite a lot. It's one of those dresses for summer that I would personally wear with a blazer if I had an office job that I could take off if I was going to lunch. I tend to wear it for lunches with my girlfriends when I'm going somewhere a little bit more fancier, maybe for a lunch at the Wynn or Four Seasons. You could also wear it as a dinner date. It's just a very classic style. If you're looking for something that's more classic that will last you for a few years and something more on trend, you could also wear it as a wedding guest dress for summer if you wanted something a bit more elegant and something a bit more refined. If you're looking for a white dress for summer that's more on trend, that's very feminine, maybe again for a bachelorette party, for a bridal shower, for a wedding rehearsal dinner, or an all white dress party, this dress is super pretty. It's very on trend with its white 3D applique flowers, a little bit sexy with the sheer underlay, very feminine with the puff sleeves, which is very flattering on the arms. If you're worried about your arms at all, this hides everything you want to hide. It looks good in photos. There's no shine to it. Just a really, really good white dress for summer. So I feel like poor cover-up dresses often get overlooked in summer dress hauls. So the reason I'm adding this to my favorite summer dresses is because I got so much wear out of it last year. Yes, you could wear it as a casual dress, but it is a little bit sheer. So I would recommend saving it for a pool cover up. It's really lightweight. It's easy to throw on. It's a little bit sexy with the leg slit, but it is a little sheer. It's also a really affordable price point. So it's not going to break the bank if you think you're only going to get a couple of uses out of it as a vacation dress. So this blue and white striped dress, it's also got a tiny yellow stripe in there as well. It's just a really great casual everyday summer dress. You could wear it for every day because it's super comfy. It's super stretchy. You could take it on vacation. It packs up and rolls into a tiny ball. It's not going to crease. It's not going to give you tan lines and it's under a hundred dollars. If you're looking for a super girly feminine floral dress, this red floral dress has given me total senorita vibes. It's really affordable, it's under $200, and I just think the cap sleeves make it so pretty, and it's a really flattering length for most people. This pink strapless midi dress would be perfect if you're looking for a sexy date night dress for summer, possibly a wedding guest dress. 
if it's not a black tie dress code you could always throw a blazer over the top or a shawl if it's a church ceremony and then just take it off afterwards because it does stay up really well it kind of comes up into points there that are really nicely boned it's ruched so it photographs really well and there is a slight metallic shimmer to the thread and there's a slight metallic shimmer to the material that's just super super pretty so you'll know if you watch my youtube i'm very honest i say both the good and the bad i rarely use the word obsessed but i am obsessed with this blue lace mini dress if i was going to a summer wedding and needed a really special wedding guest dress or if i was going to the horse races this season i would make the splurge and buy this because it is a bit of a splurge but it's absolutely gorgeous so if you've got a wedding to go to please buy it please take pictures and share them to me because i want to see someone else wearing it besides a model. So when I'm looking for summer dresses for vacation, I tend to find dresses that can multitask so that I can use them for a couple of things. So what I really like about this neutral crochet dress is it's under $100, but it can be worn as either a pool cover-up or a really casual dress for lunch at the pool or on the beach. I also tend to look for hemlines that are really easy to tailor and take up. A lot of the time, if there's detailing on the hems, I can't have them tailored. With something like this, it's really easy just to trim to the right length without a trip to the tailors. So this fitted pink floral midi dress Dress would be absolutely perfect as a summer wedding guest dress maybe with a cape or a shawl if it's an inside church ceremony then take it off later or for a vacation dinner dress it's one of those styles that's super flattering and you could wear it with so many different shoes now a white shirt dress is one of those quintessential summer dresses that can either be used for walking around the cities to making sure you don't get burnt in the sun or as a pool cover-up what I really liked about this style is it's less boxy than a lot of them. I really liked the waistline on this one and it's under $200. Rounding out the best summer dresses edit, this is my absolute favorite summer dress that's a really beautiful dress for a cocktail party. It's very extra. It says yacht party to me. I can see it just like dazzling under the sunlight. It's on the pricier end. It's the most expensive dress on my favorite summer dress list, but to me, it's a complete knockout. If you've got the place to wear it, I love this. I'm going to link all of the dresses I wore today in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe.